Hello and welcome. I'm James Marchington and this is your weekly news update from TSC. So what have we got for you this week? Well, first up, we've got the winners of our free giveaway competition. So keep watching to find out whether you've won a free shooting lesson at the Oxford Gun Company. Plus, we've got the results of last week's Oxford Schools Challenge. And this weekend is the next shoot in the TSC Winter Series. In other news, a story in the Sunday Times highlights the problems that shooters face when the family doctor doesn't cooperate with the licensing process. And the final report from the 25-year-long Langham study highlights the importance of grouse moor management in protecting wildlife and biodiversity. All that and more coming up after this. A story in the Sunday Times has highlighted the problems over the involvement of family doctors in the firearms licensing process. My own certificate's up for renewal and I've just sent off my application and I'm waiting with bated breath to see what will happen when the police contact my GP. It seems that some doctors are flat out refusing to respond to the police request for medical details, either because they object to anyone owning a gun at all or because they're concerned about their own liability. A lot of police forces now are refusing to issue certificates unless they do hear back from the doctor. So shooters are getting caught in a catch-22. It's all a bit of a shambles. Fingers crossed my application goes through OK. I'll let you know how that goes. And if you've run into problems with your application, or if it's gone smoothly, drop us a line and let us know. You can email David on david at oxfordguncompany.co.uk. A 25-year-long study supported by the RSPB as well as shooting organisations has proved the environmental and economic benefits of grouse moor management. Basque welcomed the publication of the final report from the Langham Moor Demonstration Project, which set out to re-establish the moor as a driven grouse moor and at the same time conserve birds of prey. The project never did manage to get driven grouse shooting back up and running, but it did produce some real scientific evidence about the benefits of grouse moor management for birds of prey and upland waders. Basque Scotland said it also adds weight to a Scottish Government report which shows that grouse shooting contributes £14.5 million in wages and £23.3 million to the Scottish economy. They point out it's a huge investment by grouse moor owners which has benefits for biodiversity, jobs and fragile rural economies all at no expense to the taxpayer. For more about that and a link to the report itself see basque.org.uk now, last Wednesday saw the second Oxford Schools Challenge of 2019, with school teams from all over travelling to compete on a 50-bird course at the Oxford Gun Company. The overall winners on the day were the Cokethorpe School Team, with a total of 177 out of 250, with Abbotsholm in second place. In the individual results, top in senior boys was Ron Chipman, with 48 out of 50, followed by Luke Russell and Ben Rimmer. In senior girls, first place went to Olivia Lowe, who won a shoot-off with Chloe Applin after they tied on 39. Henry Lungley won the Prep Boys category, and Philippa Stroud Prep Girls. You can find all the results on the TSC Facebook page, facebook.com slash theschoolschallenge. OK, we're about to announce the winners of our shooting lesson giveaway, but first, here's my pick of the latest shooting videos on YouTube. This one's from the latest episode of Field Sports Britain. They're out with a group of fox shooters who met up on Facebook and have got together for a day's driven partridge shooting. To watch it, click on the link in the description below. Right, enough of all the suspense. Let's announce the winners of our giveaway. You may remember that back before the Oxford Festival of Shooting, we were excited about reaching our target of 10,000 subscribers to this channel. We offered a giveaway with two prizes, a day's course with Chief Instructor Robert at the Oxford Gun Company and an hour's lesson with David Florent. Well, we've passed that 10,000 subscriber milestone now and we're so pleased with the response that we're going to double the prizes. Instead of one day course and one lesson, we're giving away two day courses and two lessons. And the winners are... 
for the full day's course with Robert. And for the one hour lesson with David. If that's you, you'll need to get in touch to claim your prize and book a suitable date. Call the shop on 01844 238 308 and talk to Charlotte or David. So who's looking forward to some game shooting? The syndicate where I'm a member has its first day of the season in a couple of weeks' time, and I can't wait to get started. If you've got some game shooting coming up and you want to sharpen up your shooting, the Oxford Gun Company has a full range of game targets set up, and you can book a lesson with one of their experienced instructors. If you want, they'll even advise you on clothing and the etiquette of a game day as well. Find out more at oxfordguncompany.co.uk or call them on 01844 238 308. Well, that's all we've got time for this week. Thanks for watching. We've got another video out on Thursday. It's another of David's gun tests, and this time he's got his hands on a camouflaged semi-auto. So goodness knows what he'll make of that one. Don't forget this Saturday, it's the next shoot in the TSC Winter Series. I'll be there filming for this channel, so if you spot me, come up and say hello. It's always nice to meet our viewers face to face. In the meantime, do please support our sponsors when you're looking at a new gun, cartridges, clothing and the rest. They're supporting our sport and they deserve our support in return. See you Thursday.